willing to bet that a lot of you feel that you have to be at a certain title or a certain level or make a certain amount of money before you can hire an assistant. Well, that is not the case. And today I want to share with you a few things. One is how to identify when to hire, how to hire, who to hire, and what to have them do. Another question I get is how much am I paying them for their services? Now what I share might be a little different than what majority of people out there on YouTube or wherever are going to say. They're probably going to send you to places like Upwork.com or Fiverr or maybe a website to actually find a real virtual assistant. But let me keep things really basic for you. You don't have to do that. Now, before I jump into how to hire someone, I kind of want to share how to identify when. When should I hire a virtual assistant? Now, it's not when you reach the top. It's not when you reach a certain amount of people on your team or make a certain amount of money. It is when you identify that there are things that you should be doing, but one, you can't be consistent with it, or you're having a hard time being consistent with it, or two, you just don't like doing it. If you have things in your business that you know you should be doing, but you just can't do it, or you find trouble finding time to do it, or you really just, I really don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. I can spend my time doing much more income producing activities. You, my friend, you can hire an assistant. Now, this part right here is where opinions are gonna vary, like I mentioned in the beginning. People are gonna tell you to go to all these different places, like Fiverr or Upwork, like I mentioned. But for me, I wanted someone that I knew, someone that I trusted. So what I did is before I went and outsourced, I looked at the people who were closest to me. So I started asking my best customers. And let me tell you, the first person I asked said yes. And she's been my virtual assistant for almost a year now, and it has been going amazing. So here's the deal. Let me give you a little background on her so you can kind of get an understanding of why I chose her. First, she's a really awesome customer of mine. Like I was really wanting someone who was purchasing from me to be someone that I brought on my side. The second thing, she is in the same type of business as I am. So she understands the nuances. She understands kind of what, how my brain works when it comes to things that I wanted to get done. So I wasn't having to really explain a lot. I could just say something and she knew what I was talking about. Now, that does not mean that one, you need to find a customer or two, they need to be familiar with anything that you are doing because the next step is you're gonna train them. Now, the best way to train someone is two ways. First is with Trello. Trello is where I house everything for my assistant. What she needs to be doing, how she needs to do it. If there's a due date attached, I have that in there as well. And we can also communicate back and forth through Trello as well. And second, once she agreed that she would be my assistant, we jumped on Zoom and we spent about an hour and we went through everything in my back office and all the programs I wanted her to use. And we did it once and it was recorded. So in the future, if she didn't know how to do something, she didn't have to ask me. She just had to go to that video, find the timestamp for whatever it was and go and watch how to do it. So that way there was no, well, how do I do this? Or I forgot how to do this. Can you tell me again? It is all recorded. It was all amazing. And that video lives in a card in her Trello board. Now, if you are with Cincy and you want to do this as well, all you have to do to give them access to your back office is to contact account services at Cincy.com, give them her name and assign a three digit code for her. She could choose it. You could choose it. Doesn't matter. And that allows them if they have any issues they can call support on your behalf and they just have to give them that code. To log into the back office, they're gonna use the same information, your consultant ID and your password. Now let's jump into some of the things that I personally have my assistant do and some things that you could potentially have an assistant do for you. Now remember, these are tasks that you just cannot for the life of you be consistent with or two, you just don't like doing them. Now your assistant doing these things, this frees you up to do things like build better relationships with your customers, to follow up, 
write handwritten notes, whatever that is, it frees up a lot of time for you to do things that are more income producing for your business. Now, one of the first things they can do is they can send emails for you. Now, if they have access to your back office, that means they have access to your entire team. So if you send any type of team communication through your back office, they can do that for you. So if you send an email about they're going to cancel or any kind of recognition, maybe mid month, like you're doing an amazing job, she can send that communication for you. And again, how to find out who is top, how to find out who is set to cancel, that was all in the training video. So she knows exactly what to do. And in the Trello board, there's also verbiage that she can just copy and paste. And if at any time I feel like, you know, we've used that verbiage enough, let me kind of change it up. I just go into that Trello board and change it up and it's good to go for the next time. The next one is sending happy mail. Now, this is not customer mail for me. I personally still do my customer happy mail every single Monday, um, but my assistant does this for me once a month and it's usually around the 15th. And again, she has my send out cards login information. So all she has to do is just log into my send out cards and she'll send top PRV or top sales, anyone who has sponsored, anyone who has paid a title, um, any promotions, any mail like that, she sends it out for me. The next thing you can have them do is things on Facebook. Specifically, if you are a leader and you have a support group or a team space, they can do things for you in that space. So just for an example, uh, every single Tuesday night, I go live for my team. So my assistant creates an event and invites everyone. So that way they get the reminder that the live is coming. Another post they can do is a weekly happy birthday, happy anniversary post. She can do a recognition post, people who are getting close to promoting. They can do a monthly recaps of the business. And any posts that you have that you consistently do or you can consistently do every single week, they can schedule those for you. So that way they are done. Now, if that's a case, whenever I did decide to bring my assistant in, I let my team know what was happening. It wasn't just like, who is this person? I said, hey, I've hired an assistant. She's gonna help us be more consistent. So that way they knew what was going on when they saw someone else posting these things and not me. Now, if you party on Facebook, you can have your assistant create the group. You can have your assistant do all of the posts, the description, have everything scheduled out so that way you don't have to do it. It is good to go. And the last thing you can have them do is create graphics for you. Now, this could be anything from in your team space to for your customer email, for anything for your business, right? If you need help making graphics, you can have an assistant do this. Now, that is really like a virtual assistant. So someone who isn't close to you, if you have someone that lives close to you, definitely consider using them, right? They can come over and they can help you make samples. They can help you with your happy mail. And it could even be someone who is in high school, who's in college, maybe someone who is even older. Maybe you can, you know, partner with maybe someone from church and they can come and help you. Now here's a, the last thing I want to mention is the payment piece. I'm going to say that this, Depends. It depends. It really depends. One, on how much you are having them do. If you're having them do a lot, like literally think about like how many hours they are going to be spending on your business. For me, it's between four and six hours a week. We decided it was going to be around $60. Now, I do not pay her in cash. I pay her in product. Now that is the biggest piece right there. And that's part of our agreement. That's what we agreed on is for her to do these things. And I'm going to send her $60 worth of product every single month. Now, again, like I mentioned, you want to find tasks that are taking you away. And again, they might not be things that you can't be consistent with or things that you don't like doing. It could be things that you love doing or that you are consistent doing, right? but maybe you want someone else to do those things so you have more time to do things, like I mentioned, that are gonna be more income producing for your business, that are you know, spending more one-on-one -on -one time with your team, doing those coaching calls, doing those group coaching calls, spending more time following up, building those bonds with your customers, really diving deep and finding out who they are and what they like so that way you can give them a more customized experience 
and um, not income producing, but you can spend more time with your family. You can be more present. That is my word of the year this year. So really trying to find ways and new things for my assistant to do. So that way I can spend more time being present with my family. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions about hiring a virtual assistant or maybe you have a virtual assistant and you have them do something completely different what I mentioned, please, please, please share it down below in the comments. If you know someone else is having trouble being consistent or is doing things that they just hate doing and it's just pulling them down, making them not like doing their business, share this video with them. I know this video will reach someone who is like at the end of their wits, like I don't want to do this anymore. And all they need to do is just have some help. So again, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you like this video. And again, if you know someone who would love this, make sure you share it with them. And I will see you guys later. Bye guys.